I changed my mind. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Um, I've always wanted a Crotto and not being too excited to work on that White Mark II. You know, talking to a couple of people, talking to my wife, like, you know, who knows what's gonna happen? Who knows if I'm gonna even build another car next winter? Maybe I get hurt this summer and, you know, can't do builds or, you know, what if I die? What, what, what if something happens? I have it, why not build it now? <laughs> so, here we are, 1990 Corrado G60. When I picked it up, uh, it, was, it had a 16 valve in it. Someone swapped into it and the guy said he'd take the engine out if I wanted. And I said, of course, I would love to have the engine out so I can get it for cheap. So yeah, no engine and it's rough, you know, but the body is good. I mean, there's a lot to work on it, but I'm stoked how it is. Let's open the door and, oh gosh, checker. There we go. And it has its own little pond that I, I'm gonna be able to uh, take a nice little dip in there. That's gonna be, that's gonna be exciting. Oh, look, oh man, I even got a sweatshirt. Oh, sweet, look, I got a new sweatshirt. Awesome, ow. Um, yeah, so obviously everything's gonna come out. Uh, carpet, all the interior will come out and I'll pour 15, the bottom like I do, all my Mark IIs. And uh, yeah, that's it. The dash doesn't have any cracks. It's cool. You know, I, I've seen, you see tons of Crados and I know you guys are looking like this, oh, I was just a Crado, but you know, when you actually buy a Crado and it's actually yours, you really start looking at how different, I don't want to shut this door anymore because this is getting caught. You really, uh, you really start to look at how different it is. And then like the lines, like this, the front fender line is like, it goes like up and then it's like flat and then it kind of goes up in the back. And like I had it next to my, a couple other Mark IIs I have in the back and I was just looking at them side by side and I'm like, man, this is so cool. It's so much lower, um, not low, low to the ground, but just like the whole thing's more compact. Um, and then just the lines are so different. So I, I mean, obviously the wiring and you know, whatever engine, it's, it's the same deal that I've been doing, but it's just a different body and it, it's so cool looking at, and it's black and I've always wanted one. And yeah, G60 front lights, it's, it's so crazy. Like tabs are still there on both of them. Um, this one has a slight crack, but they look still really good and they're, you know, both hella, but the ones that I have up there, are just like minty. So I will be putting those in for sure. But yeah, lots to do. Obviously, I'll first start in the interior, rip all this out and start um, letting this dry out. Um, I don't have any miles. 118 it says. Yeah, I'm stoked. Headliner, headliner looks good. Um, yeah, obviously the Crottos are all electronic, um, so the sunroof, I don't know why this would have been left open, but obviously it was left open, so that's why the pond is in there. Um, I'll probably be just ripping out the whole back and not using the stock seeds. I'll probably be putting some Sparkos or some Recaros in here uh, when it gets to that point, but yeah, I thought I'd just... Do a quick walk walk around for you guys since I some of you had some questions on what engine it was and That's gonna be so cool um, If I get it working, <laughs> it's gonna be cool <laughs> But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna be doing the same thing So there's so much water, it's so hard to get out of there. I'm gonna deal more with that tomorrow. Um, let's go around to the other side here. A lot of trash. Opened up the back, got the back piece off. That's really wet, I need to hang that up to dry. So much trash back here. It's wet. Um, yeah, I just need to, you know, I need to empty that. It's getting really heavy tomorrow. I'll start on this again. It's, it's pretty late. 
and you know my goal is just to get it in here tonight but obviously i couldn't stop myself from trying or you know diving into it and starting it at least so tomorrow pick it up just still need to just pretty much take everything out and let it dry all right so it's been a couple days i pulled everything out um i'll put some video up right here of what i've been doing i've had a heater in here for quite a while Got all the carpet pulled out, all the seats. Um, whew, it smells, still smells in here. So I'm just trying to dry everything out. I still need to pull out some of the sound deadening stuff. And it's just, it's just so nasty. Even if it gets dry, it's just gonna stink. So I'm gonna pull all that out. And So yeah, um, that's hanging up to dry. Um, just, you know, cleaning, slowly sorting through things. I, I need to open up the back. So yeah, I'm just gonna clean out the back and then I'll probably start in, start getting some cleaning stuff and start cleaning off um, all the bottom of the body right there. And I think I might start cleaning up some of this wiring because obviously I'm not gonna be doing any motorized seats or anything like that. So I might, no, nah, maybe I'll just leave it. I don't know. So yeah, that's gonna be it. I'm just gonna keep cleaning, get some more clean supplies, get all the stuff um, off the bottom of the body there, and that's about it. See you guys next video.